Hey what's up guys, back with a brand new video, today we're learning this viral blob tracking effect also known as the cyber target look. First things first, we're using a plugin called Tracery from aescripts.com. First, drag your video into the timeline to create your composition. Then go to the effects, drag away, and select Tracery. Once you apply the plugin, you'll see this control panel. Key color. Select what to track. Bounding box. Box color and thickness. Text. Add info inside the box. Center marker. Dots in the center. Connection line. Lines between dots. Now go to key color and pick a color from your scene. Something that stands out. Then play with the threshold to control how much of that color gets trapped. Adjust it until the box is locked perfectly onto the parts you want. Alright guys, real quick before we continue, my brand new FX and Transitions pack is finally out and it's going crazy. Packed with insane effects, smooth transitions, glitch hits, flashes, everything you need to level up your edits. Drag, drop, done. No wasting time. Your scenes go from basic to wild in seconds. If you're trying to make your videos stand out, this pack is a no-brainer. Available now at cinef.com. Links down below. Next up, the bounding box settings. Here you can customize how the boxes look around your track objects. You can change the border color, thickness, and even add a fill inside the box if you want. I'm keeping it simple with a red outline and no fill but feel free to adjust it to your style. <laughs> you can set the color, change the font size, and move the text up or down using the vertical offset. I'm just going to make the text smaller here. Here you can adjust the center markers, change their size, and switch the style. I'm using plus for this one, but you can go with dot or cross if you prefer. Last part, the connection lines. Here, you can change the line color, thickness, opacity, and even make them curved if you want. I'm keeping the lines straight, so curvature is set to zero. You can also use dashed lines and tweak the dash and gap lengths to your style. You can add arrows at the end of the connection lines and control their size, angle, and position. If you want them solid, just check Use Fill Triangles. I'll keep mine simple and clean. Now, let's add a few extra effects to make it look even better. To do that, make sure Render Graphics on Alpha is enabled. This isolates the tracery effect. Then duplicate your clip and apply new effects only to the top layer. This way, the effects won't touch your original footage, just the tracking graphics. Let's add some deep glow to give the lines and markers a nice glow effect. You can play around with the glow settings and color it to match your scene's vibe. This instantly makes the cyber target effect pop way more. Next, we're adding turbulent displays. This adds energy and makes the effect feel more alive. You can adjust the amount and size to control how strong and smooth the waves are. Then animate the evolution over time. This creates continuous movement and keeps the distortion flowing naturally. Let's add one more effect to bring everything together. I'm using the curves effect to brighten the mid-tones and highlights a bit. As you can see, I'm slightly lifting the curve upwards like this. And finally, to take it to the next level, 
I'm dropping one of my own effects from the SynFX and transitions back. Just add an adjustment layer, drag and drop the effect, and boom, the scene looks wild in seconds. If you want to upgrade your edits instantly, this pack is for you. You can get it now at synf.com. I'll drop the link below. And that's it for looking. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell for more insane effects coming soon. See you in the next one.